Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Simple Stories Saturday, a brand new series. And we will all be using Simple Stories one Saturday a month. And yeah, use it from our stash or maybe something new. And it was Joanne Bartell is the one who came up with the idea. Well, y'all know I love Simple Stories. So I have plenty and I was so lucky I was invited to join. Anyway, there are 10 of us doing this. So plenty of inspiration on using your simple stories. I'm using my vintage weathered garden today. And the background is, well, it's the papers, you know, it's kind of like cardstock supposedly to go with the other papers. And it was a little on the white side. So I added some green there and I used um, bundle sage. I knew I'd get it. If I took a second to think, I knew I'd get it. Now, this collection does have the most adorable frames, which I love, but this photo didn't fit it. I could have maybe cut it down a little more. I did cut it a tiny bit, but uh, it. All I had left was doubles. <laughs> if I had one that wasn't doubles and wasn't square, you know, if I cut off the rock, it wouldn't have worked as good. And if I cut off her head, it certainly wouldn't have worked as good. So I am making my own frame. And I am going to embellish it, similar to what they embellish their frames with. I do not have chipboard, though, so it will not be thicker. It'll be thinner. That's what it will be. And I did use simple stories with grain paper. I was busy rambling when I was showing everything that I was going to be using. Well, I cut that circle with my Creative Memories circle cutting system. And I did layer it in a little bit of cardstock. But I got it the cardstock, so it's just a narrow strip around there. So I didn't use much. But I will be using some with some leaves later. And I am going to decide I need a smaller circle up in the upper left-hand corner. And kind of go more diagonally with my layout. Well, the design of my layout. I considered putting a cluster that I was going to make on the left-hand side. But I didn't consider it long because I thought, I've got to put my title somewhere. And I think it'll fit there. So I am putting my cluster on the bottom. And the more I looked at this, the more I thought I needed more green. Y'all know I love green anyway, and that's one of the reasons I love this collection so much. So I pulled out my bundled sage and inked it some more. I'm taking those two scraps and I'm just gonna layer them. I did fishtail the little skinny polka dot one and I took out things out of the sticker book and put them on cardstock and went ahead and fussy cut around them to make them a little bit firmer so I would be able to layer and use foam tape under them if I wanted to. So I used that circle and it just says today and it's a wood grain kind of like one of those wood slices and I'm going to put foam tape behind it and then layer it under one of the round labels. And I'm going to tuck some flowers and greenery around them. The little That little baggie contains leftover little flowers that are punched out. I showed the two punches earlier. And I think they're over at the side, but you can't see them now. But I don't think I ever moved them. But uh, one, the bigger one, of course, is the flower. And then the smaller one is the... Uh, well, it's a flower, too. It's just a smaller flower. But I'm going to use it for the center. And it's the same paper. I'm just flipping it over for the center part. The little label that I put on there, it says live, love, laugh. And then I'm going to add one. And it says, it said captured moments. But since this is only one photo, I'm cut. I cut the S off so it just be captured moment. But I will put that on in a minute. I thought it was sooner than this. <laughs> but it will go on there. I fussy cut out 
well, several flowers the last layout. So I only had to cut a couple of more out to have enough for this. I figured if I needed even more, then I'd just stop and cut them. But I had plenty, so I didn't have to do that. But it would have been fine because I do not mind at all fussy cutting. I thought I'd tuck my photo just a little bit down into the flowers. I didn't want to go too far in there, but I wanted to tuck them in a little bit. So... And it does look crooked at the moment, and I will notice it, and I'll straighten it. But uh, it looks straight to me when I did it. But, you know, it, 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 when you're sitting down and then you stand up, you notice things like that really quickly. While well, my daughter called, I stood up to get the phone, and, huh, I thought, that is crooked. But, you know, I really kind of wonder if I did the frame crooked <laughs> instead of having the photo on there crooked. But it will look straighter. The biggest flower I put on the bottom, I put foam tape on the top part of it and then liquid glue on the bottom. So it'd be kind of angled up and then I could tuck the other flowers under it. So some have foam tape and some don't. And I was looking at it, and I thought, I really need something else down there. So I added a strip of the black gingham, and I tucked in a little ticket. And it says something. It says, one fine day. <laughs> I thought, I don't remember what it said. I knew it said something about the day, but I didn't know what. I am going to go ahead and... Add the ribbon, uh, ribbon, <laughs> the gingham up there at the top. It does look like ribbon though, doesn't it? And as soon as I lay that up there, that's when I decide that I need another smaller circle in the corner. So I am just making one the same way I made the bigger one. And I will be layering it and adding it there. But I'm not going to gut the green on it. But while I'm doing that, I'll go ahead and tell you about the photo. We were sightseeing, and it was Bollinger County Mill. And my grandsons and I went in and did the sightseeing. My daughter didn't come in. And so when we came outside, we looked around for her. And this is where we found her on the phone. <laughs> and, I mean, I don't think she looks that comfortable, but apparently she was because she stayed there a while. So my title's going to have something to do with her, her telephone, and where she's at. Now, if it was me on the phone there, I'd be sitting on one of the rocks instead. But it wasn't me. It was her. And, you know, makes a good scrapbook page. So, yeah, I took the picture. I'm adding a piece of that chipboard off the Brad's package and it just says moments. And I tried to cover the S up a tiny bit with the heart. I didn't completely cover it up, but I did try to cover it up a little bit. So it won't be quite as obvious. You know, it wasn't like I could just cut it off. But I start out making my title best ever. And I'm going to use the sticker sheet and the little tile stickers and make the word phone booth. My grandkids will be looking at this and they'll be saying, what is a phone booth? And they'll think this is what a phone booth is. Because, you know, I'm sure they've never seen one. Well, I started to say not the younger ones anyway. But, you know, really, probably not the older ones. They always would have that little cubby-like thing, you know, the little shelter for the phone. But you weren't in no phone booth and keeping dry. Just the phone was keeping a little bit dry. Um, let's see where am I at. Oh, here's where I decided to go ahead and change my title. So I moved my phone booth down and kind of tucked it in with the greenery and the best day down. And so it's going to be, oh, happy day, best ever phone booth. Because y'all know I like long titles. And if I can make a long title on my layout, I'm going to do it. That greenery there, I used um, Pink Fresh Branch Dry. dry. 
branch die. I think that's what it's called. I think it's called branch die. And I am going to be cutting it up and scattering it around the layout. So while I'm doing that, I want to mention that down there below will be the links to everybody that's doing the Simple Stories Saturday. So everyone will be featuring Simple Stories from their stash, or maybe they'll have something new. I know I'll have fun going to all the channels and seeing their videos. So make sure you check them out. And let's see where I'm at again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just flipping this apart and tucking pieces in. And I think I think I learned a little ink that I will be adding. Sequence will be the only other thing that I do add to the layout. So yeah, I'm getting pretty close to getting done here. Um, the sequence that I will be using, oh, here's the ink. I'll go ahead and do the ink first. Since it is here, it is that saltwater taffy. And I put some on that one flower and decided that it was kind of dark. So I thought, well, I will just make sure I rub very lightly and not put it very dark. And I pulled my piece of paper out. And thought I'd rub on it, the dark part, and then lighter on the other part. However, I will make a mistake and forget to rub on the extra piece of paper first. Yeah. So I have to cover it up with a flower so it's an easy fix. But I love that color. It is so pretty. If you don't get too much, well, I probably will want it at some time or another darker. But this time I just wanted a little bit because I wanted everything else to show up on the flower. I didn't want to cover it all up. Her shirt is pretty dark pink. That is her favorite color. But I knew I wanted to put it on the flowers and I wanted it just a delicate blush. And I didn't cover the whole flower when I did it either. I just came out from the center. I had three hearts that I had uh, put on cardstock and fussy cut around that were stickers so I am going to put them on the layout. I'd already put one earlier in. I think two earlier. Maybe two. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know but <laughs> I put the last one on just now. I think I got sidetracked a while ago when I started to say that I was using Speak of Mom scraps into the wood sequence. I think they go awesome with this layout and so yeah there's my ink yeah that's why i messed up and i tried to use the eraser which does not work as good on paper even though they call this cardstock it is paper and it does not work as good on it so it took part of it off but not as much as i'd like so i'm covering most of it up with that little flower and of course i had to add a couple of more sequins so it wouldn't be lonely up there in that corner. But that's it. That's my layout. I had so much fun doing this. And I know I'm going to have a lot of fun on this series. And making sure I use simple stories at least once a month. And what a great idea Joanne had. But uh, yeah, there's one of the butterflies. And it does have liquid glue in the center. Well, all three of them do. And foam tape underneath the wings. And there's the little flower that is punched out. And it does have a tiny bit of pink in the center. But you barely see it underneath the center that I added to it. And there's the rock I would have been setting on myself. And the cluster. Well, part of the cluster that's underneath the photo. And there is the other butterfly and the cluster that's up there at the top. But if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so much. But have a happy, scrappy week. Have fun on the hop. Bye.